We are given that alpha, beta, and gamma are roots of the equation x cube minus p x square plus r is equal to zero. Therefore, the sum of the roots alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to p. Sum of the roots taken two at a time is equal to alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma, which is equal to zero, because the coefficient of x is equal to zero. And finally, the product of the roots alpha beta gamma is equal to minus r. Now we are interested in an equation whose roots are beta plus gamma upon alpha, gamma plus alpha upon beta, and alpha plus beta upon gamma. The sum of the roots of this desired equation is equal to beta plus gamma upon alpha plus gamma plus alpha upon beta plus alpha plus beta upon gamma. Taking a common denominator of alpha, beta, gamma, and the numerator is beta gamma times beta plus gamma. Plus alpha gamma times gamma plus alpha plus alpha beta times alpha plus beta. Now we add and subtract alpha in the first term in the brackets. Add and subtract beta similarly in the second bracket, and add and subtract gamma in the third bracket. The sum of the roots therefore simplifies to one upon alpha beta gamma times in brackets beta gamma times alpha plus beta plus gamma minus alpha beta gamma is the first term. The second term is alpha gamma times alpha plus beta plus gamma minus alpha beta gamma. The third term is alpha beta times alpha plus beta plus gamma minus alpha beta gamma. This simplifies to one upon alpha beta gamma times in brackets. Combine the terms with alpha plus beta plus gamma. We have alpha plus beta plus gamma times beta gamma plus alpha gamma plus alpha beta. And combining the three alpha beta gamma terms, we get minus three times alpha beta gamma. Substituting the value of alpha beta gamma, alpha plus beta plus gamma, and beta gamma plus alpha gamma plus alpha beta obtained earlier, we get one upon minus r times in brackets p times zero minus three times minus r, which is equal to three r divided by minus r, which is equal to minus three. Let's call this result one. Now, sum of the roots of the desired equation taken two at a time is equal to beta plus gamma upon alpha times gamma plus alpha upon beta plus beta plus gamma upon alpha times alpha plus beta upon gamma plus gamma plus alpha upon beta times alpha plus beta upon gamma. Taking a common denominator of alpha beta gamma, and the numerator is gamma times gamma plus beta times gamma plus alpha plus beta times beta plus gamma times beta plus alpha plus alpha times gamma plus alpha times alpha plus beta. This is equal to one upon alpha beta gamma times in brackets gamma times in brackets gamma square plus gamma times alpha plus beta plus alpha beta plus beta times in brackets beta square plus beta times alpha plus gamma plus alpha gamma and finally plus alpha times in brackets alpha square plus alpha times beta plus gamma plus beta gamma. This is equal to one upon alpha beta gamma times combine the first two components of each term. The first term is gamma times brackets gamma times alpha plus beta plus gamma plus alpha beta the second term is beta times brackets beta times alpha plus beta plus gamma again combining the first two components plus alpha gamma and finally the third term is plus alpha times brackets alpha times alpha plus beta plus gamma plus beta gamma therefore the sum of the roots taken two at a time is equal to one upon alpha beta gamma times in brackets now we pick up the first term from each of the three components from the previous line. We have alpha plus beta plus gamma times alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square. And combining the remaining terms, which are all equal to alpha beta gamma, we have plus three alpha beta gamma. This is equal to one upon alpha beta gamma times in brackets alpha plus beta plus gamma times brackets alpha plus beta plus gamma whole square minus two times 
brackets alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma and the last term is plus 3 alpha beta gamma. Now we know the values of alpha plus beta plus gamma, alpha beta gamma and alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. Plug these in. The sum of the roots of the desired equation taken two at a time is equal to 1 upon minus r times brackets p times p square minus 0 plus 3 times minus r which simplifies to p cube minus 3r divided by minus r which is equal to 3r minus p cube divided by r. Let's call this result 2. And finally, the product of the roots of the desired equation is equal to beta plus gamma upon alpha times gamma plus alpha upon beta times alpha plus beta upon gamma. This is equal to 1 upon alpha beta gamma times alpha plus beta times brackets gamma square plus gamma times alpha plus beta plus alpha beta. This is equal to 1 upon alpha beta gamma times alpha gamma square plus alpha square gamma plus alpha beta gamma plus alpha square beta plus beta gamma square plus alpha beta gamma plus beta square gamma plus alpha beta square. This is equal to 1 upon alpha beta gamma times Combining terms with gamma square, we get gamma square times alpha plus beta. Combining terms with alpha square, we get plus alpha square times beta plus gamma. And combining terms with beta square, we get plus beta square times alpha plus gamma. And the remaining two terms add up to plus 2 alpha beta gamma. Now note that alpha plus beta plus gamma times alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma is equal to alpha square times beta plus gamma plus alpha beta gamma plus beta square times alpha plus gamma plus alpha beta gamma and finally plus gamma square times alpha plus beta plus alpha beta gamma. This is equal to alpha square times beta plus gamma plus beta square times alpha plus gamma plus gamma square times alpha plus beta plus 3 alpha beta gamma. Subtracting alpha beta gamma from both sides, we get alpha square times beta plus gamma plus beta square times alpha plus gamma plus gamma square times alpha plus beta plus 2 alpha beta gamma is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma times alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma minus alpha beta gamma. And therefore, the product of the roots of the desired equation can also be written as 1 upon alpha beta gamma times brackets alpha plus beta plus gamma times alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma minus alpha beta gamma. Now we know the values of alpha plus beta plus gamma, alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma and alpha beta gamma. Plugging these in we get 1 upon minus r times brackets p times 0 minus of minus r which simplifies to r upon minus r, which is equal to minus 1. Therefore, to summarize, for the desired equation, we have determined that the sum of the roots is equal to minus 3. Sum of the roots taken two at a time is equal to 3r minus p cube divided by r. And finally, the product of the roots is equal to minus 1. And therefore, we are in a position to write down the desired equation, which is x cube minus of minus 3x square or plus 3x square plus 3r minus p cube upon r times x minus of minus 1 is equal to 0. Multiplying by r we get rx cube plus 3rx square plus 3r minus p cube times x plus r is equal to 0 is the desired equation.